All right, so once again, let's try to compare React and Svelte, this time using a different use case. Last time I did a comparison between React and Svelte uh, taking, for example, a file upload component. This time we will do Ajax in both Svelte and React, and we will see how they compare in terms of complexity and ease of understanding, ease of writing the code, and uh, possibly performance, but we will see. Let's get started. So here I have a React project. I created it using Create React App. And uh, so let's see. I just said Create NPX, Create React App, React Ajax. And then I performed, uh, you know, Yarn um, install. And then finally, I ran it using either NPM run start or just so so uh, so that's what is running on the right okay similarly on in this vs code uh, i have a sample um sample a swell project running which i created using the dig it so like this and px dig it uh, swell js slash template swell ajax and then i ran yarn install you can do npm install same thing and then npm run dev or stuff like that so that's the application running on the right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to simply uh, create a simple input okay in this one uh, and then I will uh, enter some addresses and then I will use geocoding to resolve those addresses, uh, partial addresses into real ones. So let me show you what I mean by that. So I'm going to use uh, OSM, no, not that one, nominatim, there it is, yes. So this is what I'm going to do. Here's the example. I'm using this not, let me make sure you can see this. This nominatim openstreetmap.org slash search, then format is JSON, and then Q, which is the query, is the name of any place, okay? So I will include this in the show notes, okay? All right, let's, uh, when you do that, you get a list of places. This is um, obviously JSON. So it's simply an array, a JSON array with list of places. Okay, we'll take a look at that, that in a minute. But first, let's uh, take this original uh, React app and, and remove, use extra stuff from it. I'm just going, this is the boilerplate app that React Create React app gives you. And I'm deleting everything from it. All right, so this is pretty empty. Let's uh, start by putting in heading one, and we will say this is your query, and we will create that query uh, variable by say using set state. So, sorry, use state. So use state, as you know, is a um, hook in React. So let's, we say const q and then set q equal to use state. And this is going to be our query. Uh, we will start with London as the default value of, of our query. Okay, and then we will also have an input box where the value is equal to the value of query and then Let's stop there for a second and see what, what we have. There you go. Uh, our initial value is London, of our Q is London, and then it's showing up here, query colon London, and input box is also showing London. Now, in order for, uh, let's put a placeholder and say, 
enter partial address so that when we do that and we delete the address well we cannot even delete the address because value is fixed so in order to delete the address we have to um, handle change so let's do on change and this will be handle change so what is handle change it's a callback function handle change which takes an event and we will say set q e dot target dot value so this way whatever is the value of input is q is set to that let's see if this works any better okay so it at least it allows us to change it and as we type it's updating good so let's try to do the same exact thing first of all let's do the same exact thing in um, Swelt. so here it's Swelt application let me remove everything from this Swelt Swelt application everything that is extra so okay you can remove this as well and now we have heading one query that's going to be q and we will have input bind colon value is equal to q and placeholder says enter partial address and uh, close it and let's add a script tag back because we need let q equal to london the initial value okay let's save this and there you go okay so this is the same thing that we had we can delete stuff and it's in synchronized fashion and then placeholder shows up and we can have london so now look at this this is swelt program and this is the equivalent react program or react component uh, obviously swelt component is much shorter but also it is much easier to understand all the magic of, of that is in bind colon value which is two-way binding but it is so much easier to understand it's so much straightforward react on the other hand you have to use this uh, thing called uh, use state which makes uh, you know q go in both direction make it two-way bound okay so now let's let's make this ajax call from react in order to make that ajax call we will create another function function geocode so the geocode function basically um, will take this this url copy let's copy it and we'll call it const url equal to and then we will remove just this part this london the address part let's remove that because that is dynamic everything else is static and then we say fetch url plus q right and then when it succeeds so now we want to use async and await right so we will say const response equal to await fetch now fetch is of course how we are doing ajax and but because it returns a promise and we want to wait for the promise to resolve we have to use await keyword uh, if you are not sure how this works please look up async await uh, for javascript 
And then in order for me to use await, I have to make this function async also. All right, so if response dot is okay, then, then we say results equal to uh, response dot json. Only problem is results doesn't exist. And results is something that we want to also use as a reactive variable. So in order to do that as a state variable, so we will let's create results and set results and also use use state and the initial value will be an empty array because uh, the reason being that results will assume the value of this array that's why it starts out with empty array okay so instead of saying results equal to response first of all we have to await on on json so let's call this a const underscore results and because this is a temporary variable which we will send to set results and then so this is the resulting results okay so in order to make use of this we have to create a we'll create a table how about that uh, keep in mind so let me just show you here when i inspect this and uh, reload and go to network request ta tab there it is so this is what i wanted to show you these are the results this is how we are receiving results there is the place id this is an array of course in there there is place id display name let me make sure you can see it okay hopefully you can see it there is display name this class and type we will use those okay All right so we want to create a um, table so let's create a table table t head tr t h okay so this is going to be um, class slash type and then we will have the display name okay let's add t body tr td <laughs> third time is a charm um, so we will put uh, we will iterate over tr the results that is so let's uh, map so we, this is how you do things in in react you say results dot map and then uh, if r is each then r we are r is each element and then you move tr inside and let's just say r in the first column we will have r dot class slash r dot type and in the second column we will simply put r dot display name display name okay right, let's save this and now if i hit remember okay so are we making any calls well we are not even calling this uh, geocoding function so let's do call that uh, we call that on blur on blur geocode okay all right let's hope this works let's just take a look at this again yep save it and now we go into london hit tab ha huh. it did work first time around that's good so this is how we do ajax in react okay now let's see how we do the same thing in uh, swelt oh by the way if you look at the inspect element you will see that there are some errors in console it says each child in the list should have a key prop so in order to make react happy 
in the whenever you do a map you have to have a unique key so we will take the element and here's the index of each element and this is how map function works and provide use the the index as the key and when we do that hopefully everything works yes so here is your results you have london which is the main london that everybody knows in uk city in uk then there is greater london with some boundary administrative area place city there is a village in california and that is london so so this is how we do ajax in um, or any other asynchronous activity in react let's do the same thing here so we can copy some of this stuff at least the geocode function we will copy from from here and straight into this one okay so that's geocoding function and we want to say on blur you know do the geocoding right so here on colon blur geocode okay let's put the table so i'm going to once again copy this this table so that i don't have to type this whole thing again and paste it um, and the only thing is we don't do map this is so the uh, instead of doing map we say each results as r so this is how we do each and then when we want to close it we close the each loop okay so now there is no such thing as results so we have to bring that into existence let results equal to empty okay there's no need for key at least not like this if you really wanted key if you needed key you would do that as uh, r i and then this this is how you uh, you know you basically say this is the collection this is each element in the collection this is the index and then you are using the index as the key so this is how keys work let's see if this works for us so here we go london and tab and it didn't work so something is not quite right let me check the errors console there's a okay set results is not defined <laughs> yes of course yes so because we are doing this in uh, svelte and not react we do not have to do all this we can we don't need to call set results we just assign it assign the result of await directly to results let's save this and now when we tab okay there we got the same results if we try a different city let's say boston and we get a different set of results of course uh, try san francisco obviously all of that works so that's the uh, way we do ajax you will notice a few things in react versus um react versus uh, svelte in react you have to use these um, use state hooks right for any variable that will be uh, updated uh, synchronously or asynchronously either way while in svelte there is no such thing you just assign a new value to the variable and react is going to inject some code around this assignment such that the page gets updated so in my opinion the the svelte sorry the svelte uh, compiler will inject that code not react so svelte code is much simpler easier to understand it has no external libraries etc you are importing there is no runtime svelte runtime that you are importing and uh, it's pretty straightforward easy to understand so i hope uh, this was able 
Now, this was a good example of showing how things are much much simpler in case of Svelte. But in case of React, you have to do a few things that seem, don't seem to make a whole lot of sense. Hope you learned something. See you next.